new discovery, mysterious ancient megastructure discovered lurking beneath the Baltic Sea. This is the undersea morphology of the region, the white arrows pointing to the blinker wall. And this was discovered just recently, 2024. Beneath the cold, dark waves of the Baltic Sea, a hidden piece of history lurks. In Germany's Bay of Mecklenburg, 69 feet down, scientists have found an ancient stone megastructure dating back to the Stone Age more than 10,000 years ago. This reminds me of what was recently found in Yonaguni in Japan, 70 feet down from the surface. This is just the same, 69 feet down. The Yonaguni looked like uh, megastructures of walls. Let's look at the picture. So if this was also sunk about 10,000 years ago, something devastating must have happened to our Earth, obviously. Spanning a length of nearly a kil uh, kilometer, 6.62 uh, miles, and consisting of large stones, the structures of the Baltic Sea defies natural explanation, meaning it seems to have been deliberately constructed for some purpose thousands of years before it was swallowed up by the sea. The German research team led by geophysicist Jacob Gerson of Kiel University believes the structure to be a wall, perhaps to aid hunting efforts by the hunter-gatherer people who inhabited the region all those years ago. They've named their discovery the Blinker Wall. The site represents one of the oldest documented man-made hunting structures on Earth and ranges among the largest known Stone Age structures in Europe, the researchers write in their paper. It will become important for understanding subsistence strategies, mobility patterns, and inspire discussions concerning the territorial development in the Western Baltic Sea region. Earth's land masses have changed significantly over the millennia, shaped by tectonic movement, erosion, and climate processes such as glaciation and sea level changes. Many coastal settlements and structures have been taken by the waves over time, languishing, both hidden from view and out of easy reach. In recent years, though, continually developing technologies have started to reveal the hidden treasures on the seafloor. Gearson and his team found the blinker wall using high-resolution hydroacoustic imaging, an autonomous underwater vehicle and human divers to explore the bay and map the true extent of the structure. Of course, it helps that it's not too deep. It's only 69 feet down. Now, the data collected revealed the long stretch of some 1,670 individual stones spanning some 3,186 feet. The stones tended to be less than a meter, that's 3.3 feet high, and less than 2 meters wide, sitting side by side over the length of the structure. The consistency and neatness, the team says, are unlikely to be the result of natural processes, such as glacial transport or being pushed by ice. In addition, the structure appears to have adjacent to an ancient shoreline or bog, However, the blinker wall was unlikely to have served as a fish weir since the researchers could find no water flows as required for proper functionality. Nor would it have served as a coastal defense since two meters is too narrow for the base of a coastal wall and the construction of a harbor, they say, is also unlikely since the people who inhabited the region over 10,000 years ago were unlikely to be doing much seafaring Based on the information at hand, the researchers write, the most plausible functional interpretation uh, for the blinker wall is that it was constructed and used as a hunting architecture for driving herds of large ungulates, and those would have consisted at the time primarily of reindeer or bison. It's not that strange an idea. Hundreds of colossal stone structures have been found scattered from the desert lava fields of Saudi Arabia to Central Asia. Scientists believe that these structures were also used to drive herds of animals, making them easier to hunt. Although dating such structures is challenging, the researchers believe that the blinker wall was built more than 10,000 years ago based on the age of surrounding features and submerged beneath the Baltic Sea around 8,500 years ago. And since then, 
It's been re it has remained sequestered beneath the waves in a relatively pristine condition that makes it a valuable resource for understanding human history. The suggested date and functional interpretation of the blinker wall makes the feature a thrilling discovery, not only because of its age, but also because of the potential for understanding subsistence patterns of the early hunter-gatherer communities, the researchers write. The discovery of this kind of structure shed light on many aspects of the regional hunter-gatherers, especially regarding their socioeconomic complexity. This has been published on PNAS, and it's on Science Alert by Michelle Starr. Please leave your comments, and thank you for your support. I kindly support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily, and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support, and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.